The Uvalde community is trying to find ways to move forward with the Robb Elementary tragedy only three months now in the rearview mirror. And today families had a chance for a last weekend of summer fun with the annual Palomino Fest at the County Fairplex. This year's celebration has a very special theme. Go Palomino Fest! <laughs> what kind of balloon do you want? I want a dog. A Despite the rain, there was still plenty of excitement for Saturday's Palomino Fest. From the first timers, probably just like to watch the show on the rodeo or something. Watch the show on the rodeo? What about you? Uh, the rodeo. To those who have come before, we're all just here trying to, can't say move on because the pain is still going to be there, but to enjoy what little we can. This year's festival feels a little different. The theme for Palomino Fest this year is uh, Uvalde Strong. This morning, families of the 21 victims took part in the festival's parade, showing the faces and the names of the ones taken on May 24th. Ismael Martinez is one of the organizers of Palomino Fest. He says COVID canceled things for the past few years. This year, plans were set early for the Labor Day weekend celebration. That was all good, and then May 24th comes, and it, and it, brought everything to a halt. The board debated putting on the festival but decided for it because they could use the weekend to honor those who were killed and donate to those who were hurt. We decided that the $25,000 instead of going to the scholarships it's going to go to the families of the uh, students that were injured. This weekend of fun serving as a moment of joy for a community still saturated in sadness. We can even though the pain's still there we can still enjoy what little life there is because life's short. You never know what can happen. Tomorrow is the final night of Palomino Fest. Gates open at five o'clock. There's going to be a special tribute to the 21 ROM victims during the Los Palominos performance at 9 p.m.